A second technology piece that I want to talk about is a hybrid option. So we've actually partnered with Viatech as well as Zero Motorcycle uh, to come up with our latest high power smart PTO. And really this fills a big market need and we've had a lot of customer engagement about, you know, given those hybrid options. So this is designed for a very simple, reliable system that provides a shift uh, full of power to operate the boom and cab comfort. So electric utilities, plug it in at night, yeah. charges up those lithium ion batteries, and then the truck goes out and during the day. And when you need it for cab comfort or boom, you don't have to sit there and idle. All your power is supplied by the system. Now, how long does that typically last before it needs a recharge? So we really design it based on the duty cycle of the product right. and it's scalable. So the one you're seeing here is a 7.2 kilowatt. Okay. We can go from 7.2, 14, 18, 21, up to 28. Wow. This is going on a smaller trouble truck. So what we found working with customers in our studies in that duty cycle, this 7.2 gets them in through a full shift operation. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, 7.2, I guess, guys, the best way to think about it, like a kilowatt hour is that you get an hour worth of use out of a thousand, you know, watts, essentially. And that's, you know, your refrigerator is three or 400 watts, 500 watts or whatever. So, uh, you know, basically if you have a thousand watt, you know, machine, that'll get you, you know, seven hours of use out of it. 7.2, is going to be probably for most guys out there plenty of time to not only you know cool the truck and everything but for you set up to 18 and tour 21. Yeah, so as you get into some of our bigger products yeah. you know like if we look just next to a, some of these this would be more like of a 14 kilowatt yeah but we can go all the way up to a 28 depending again on that customer duty cycle but remember yeah. that full day they're not just one position operating the boom right they're driving to the job site they're setting up they're yeah. doing their safety checks Right. And so again, your sign is in it to say is, we don't want to idle that engine no. while this boom is flying or we're in the cab completing paperwork. That is a yes. lot of potential fuel savings yep. there for sure, yep. because I don't think that we're anywhere close to where the actual like engine is on, on these trucks is going to be replaced by a battery array anytime soon. So having this kind of hybrid option with up to, up to 28 kilowatt hours worth of capacity is, yep. is huge. It's a huge midterm solution until you know we get there with full electric vehicles. Yeah that are rated for our severe duty application. So it's an important piece of the yeah, puzzle. 100%, that's very cool. Yep, the other thing too is you gotta think about the benefits of no noise, you know? Oh, yeah. So improve workforce safety environment, being able to talk to the guys in the bucket. Yeah, lots of features here. Yeah, I have a feeling that we'll be seeing a lot more of these little boxes on top of <laughs> the truck. So. For sure. Yeah. <laughs>